Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Dumb Eye TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy, Goldmouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Today, we finna talk about Ronnie M. Phillips, a.k.a. Ronnie Run from Bloods in the Cribs. You know, he was the founder of Dangerous Records. You know, Ronnie Run was born April 16th, 1954. He died in uh, November 1st, 2003. You feel me? He's responsible for organizing the Bloods and Crips Project on the collaboration album. It went gold. You know what I'm saying? And then he produced for uh, Young Soldiers, Tweety Bird, Lope, Nation Riders, uh, Damu Riders, Nene X, and uh, Four Clips, you know what I'm saying, just to name a few, but you know, some of his uh, better artists, is, man, and people he got to work with was uh, Silk Ski, which went on to produce for uh, Wu-Tang Clan. And then he had DJ Battle Cat. He had uh, Domino. You feel me? He had uh, OG Red Rum. Bloody Mary. You know what I'm saying? The man had a whole bunch of people under his roster, but he just didn't know what to do with them at the time. He produced a few uh, gold albums. But he didn't pay his artists that much money. He gave him $1,000 a piece. You feel me? Because one of the uh, Crip members, she snapped. And her family snapped. Because you know what I'm saying? The dirty business that Runny Run was doing over there with the Bloods and Crips. Because he wanted to put a lot of people down. You know what I'm saying? But people like BG... Uh, BG Knockout, uh, Draster, and uh, Sugar Free, all of them denied the opportunity because at first, Ronnie Run was stepping to everybody on the West Coast trying to get them down, but it just didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? That's why Four Clips had beef with MC8, because MC8 was supposed to come jump on the uh, Bloods and Crips album. But the peace treaty thing was just making it hard for everybody to hook up. Because all of them was related to a lot of those famous rappers that you know today. You know what I'm saying? Like Tweety Bird Low, he was real cool with Easy e in real life. They was beefing because Easy e wouldn't put Tweety Bird logo on, so they put out a whole bunch of diss raps. Four Clips was dissing uh, MC8. And then uh, OG Red Rum was cousins with Corrupt. And they was dissing each other. You know what I'm saying? And there was another one of them bloods that was cousins well, Ice Cube and MC Ren had a cousin that was in the group. So everybody was almost family, man. They just wasn't able to work with each other. But Ronnie Run was an organizer. So he used to go to the hoods and try to sign these cats. But they just wouldn't go for it because it was like Dangerous Records was the lowest paying artists like label in the game. After the album done, you go platinum and gold, you get a thousand dollar check. So a lot of them cats broke up and went to death row and started making money. Some of them went to Ruthless, but most of them went to death row. All the bloods did. You know what I'm saying? And you know, Ronnie Run just Pretty much lost all his artists. You feel me? But he was able to stay afloat for a little while, but they were sampling so much music. You feel me? It was just 
wasn't going to pay off, man. And he wasn't getting the respect from Dr. Dre and Suge Knight and, you know, people that was big in the game. He was trying to come up like them. But, you know, he just had a whole bunch of rookies. He didn't have no stars on his roster. You feel me? Like, he made OG Red Rum equal to him at 17 to go recruit all the Bloods. And then he had all the Kelly Compton Crips that was down with Tweety Bird join forces. Because he was just a producer. But he was older than a lot of them cats. He was smarter. He was a businessman. He wasn't with the fighting guns down type stuff. But he wanted to put all the, the gangsters on. And steal their money. And don't never show up in the hood. And you know. He had lost a lot of artists. Because he could have had money with Battle Cat. He could have had EA Ski. He could have had a whole bunch of people was wanting to sign to this man. But I guess it just didn't work out. The label folded. Peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? They did some other things with uh, 